and now I have to remember how the heck. So you've got to choose uh -huh. your video or an yeah. audio source. Or an audio so you choose show. the source. In this case, it will be a VTR. Yeah. Um, we'd also and have then to in choose there. whether we're doing an assemble, which yeah. you would not. You only do at the beginning if you're black and bursting, or the insert. So basically, those would be set, and it depends on how many audio channels or whether you're not doing any audio at the time, you would select the relative or you're doing audio only, if you're doing a bit of voiceover or whatever. And then, so In let's see. There. So, ah, now that's why isn't, so hang on. I haven't got anything up in the saw. So Doesn't matter, it should be able to set the recorder in. Why won't you let me, I've got that. Got that and there. How come this doesn't? This is coming up on both monitors. Because it's automatically, it's automatically feeding through. Um, if I press play there, then if I press play there, it wouldn't uh -huh. come through then. But so why can't I mark an in? While you're doing that, I found that as a little trick is if you found where it'd be on your source really. If you found the frame you liked on your source, which I can't get that to steady, but let's, let's, let's say that's a source and it's on a still frame. Yes. If you unplugged the uh, controller on the back of the source machine, you could do a freeze frame. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, we were, and people would say, have you done, done we freeze were all, frame without we an We were effect? all into tricks on how to, how, to, how to do a kind of a freeze frame yeah. with, without the proper machines. I think, lucky enough, we had the... Um, the um, vibrating playback heads, so we actually could yes. on, on the machines that, that, that we had.